All right, here's another one on the Vim religion. This time we're gonna set up uh, Vim as our man pager. Um, so if you're reading your man page and you wanna use Vim, this is how you would do it. So let's say, for example, I bust out a uh, man Z shell here. And you can see that whenever I'm navigating uh, the man pages, I'm actually using Vim here, right? And you see that I have numbers on the side here uh, to see what line number I'm on. I even have my, um, what is it called? Cursor line. So it will highlight every line I'm on. Uh, then I don't know exactly where I'm at. Right. Uh, makes it easier on the eyes to find out. So this one, you can still use your VimRC for most of the settings. Depends what it is. But in here, we actually disable everything else. Like you can't really do insert mode or anything because this is a man page. You're not trying to edit anything. But if I hit I, you'll see that it will you know, not allow me to do any editing or anything like that. So this one is mainly just normal mode for navigation around and all that. And you still do all your other hotkeys that you normally do. Um, what is that? GG the top, capital G the bottom. If I want to jump to line 50, I do 50 GG. If I want to go to the next word, I can do W. You know, um, you get the idea. Um, and if you want to exit, you don't have to do like, uh, what was it one? Command Q explanation mark. You don't have to do any of that crap. Just hit Q like you normally do in the man page and it'll exit, right? Anyways, how do you set this up? Uh, just go into your bash RC, ZSH RC, or whatever shell you're using. Uh, that's bash compatible. I guess it will work. But we'll do export man pager and add all these crap in there. I'll post you in the description, right? <laughs> But that's all you gotta do, and uh, you know you, you set it up to have Vim as your man pager. So whenever you do this, you have Vim. And if you want to use what I was using for my Vim RC, the only thing I was using here is uh, what was that cursor line? Cursor line is basically you know whenever line line, you can see that there's a little horizontal highlighted line there. Uh, what was the other one? You can do numbers if you want to show numbers on the left side here, right? All the numbers uh, to know where you're at. If you want to do cursor column, you can do that too. I'll show you what it is here if you want to do cursor column. Basically, it's uh, like the cursor line, but this is the column. So horizontal and uh, vertical, right? Then it'll help you to figure it out where you're at more precisely if... Uh, you know you have troubles trying to find it with your eyes then this will help really quick anyways um, that's how you would uh, set that up in your VimRC right uh, the next one this one is for NeoVim which I don't really use that much but you can do it and it has like a uh, table of contents and stuff like that so this one's a little different from the one I just showed you but let's bust this out here back into here and we'll disable the one for Vim and we'll enable the one for NeoVim here. So this one's the NeoVim one here, right? Uh, again, I'll post this in the description so you don't have to copy from the video here. But uh, we'll um, save that. We'll reload our shell here. And now if I'm using man Z shell here, you'll see that I have a little um, table of contents on the other buffer here, the left side. And the right side here, this one, you know, it's still my man page that I can read. And it's kind of weird, my terminal, I think it's just my terminal, I'm not sure. But whenever I scroll all the way down or something, you'll lose that little uh, divider or the other buffer that, you know, divides it. But if you get it back, all you do is hit Control L to refresh it. And, you know, you'll get it back, no worries. Now to toggle between the different buffers, because right now we're on the right side here only, right? We can't jump to the other one. To jump to the other one, you do Control W two times, and I'll just toggle between you know wherever you're at. So you can do Control W two times to jump between uh, whatever buffer you want to go to. So the second buffer here, this one on the left here, um, this one is basically your table of contents. And if you want to read, let's say this section here called the Z Shell Wiki here. I just hit enter on that and you see that over here on the right side I will jump to um, that section right and you can read it if you want pretty much it that's what we're gonna set up um, and to quit out of this the same thing you hit Q and I'll quit um, so how you set this up 
again like I said you have to have you know export man pager and we're using NeoVim here for this right and the other one um, should be in your NeoVim configuration and this one's in our NeoVim init.vim here uh, but in here all you gotta do is uh, make sure your file type plugin is on syntax on and this is the code to get the table contents uh, to show up whenever you bust out your man page so anyways if you want to do that um, there you go post you all this in the description and now you convert another what was that another program to using vim um, <laughs> I think that the original one was already using vim but this one is more pure vim or neo vim if uh, you want to use that anyways that's how you set it up if you want to use vim hotkeys while you're reading your um, man pages and also your vim rc you can do some stuff with that like i said with uh, line numbers uh what's that cursor line for highlighting and stuff like that anyways this one's a long video uh that'll be it for this one